Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from VitalCoaching.com. We are talking about breakups for men, and the topic for this video is you are no longer responsible for her. Okay, there is a little bit of a distinction here. For instance, if you have children together, there is some variation here, but this is the basic mindset to practice. What happens when you're coupling, when you're in a relationship, is that somehow you become responsible for each other. There is a transfer of power and attention and love that happens between two beings who enter in resonance. This is called coupling. And the dynamics and the agreements between two beings who are in resonance and who are coupling are very powerful, very profound, very secret. One of these dynamics for instance, one of the values that you establish is that you're prioritizing each other, prioritizing each other's needs. It means that if you notice that your partner has a certain need, most of the times you will want to be there, present for them. The same the other way around. There is going to be very often honesty, transparency, clear communication, presence for each other, love, attention. You know, all these values are there. And most of the times, the person with who you're relating you know, who is your partner in this coupling is your primary partner. So in the process of this, what happens is that you start feeling responsible for each other. You start feeling responsible for each other's well-being. And so in the moment you break up, in the moment you go through a conscious uncoupling experience, the moment you release control and the dynamics of what crystallizes that connection, what naturally happens is that a lot of this is naturally dissolved, right? You might no longer be sexual partners. You might no longer be primary partners. Maybe somebody else comes into your life. But somehow there are leftovers of the relationship. For instance, some of the patterns that can be really tricky and toxic when uh, you go through a conscious uncoupling experience is that you might still feel like you have some form of right to tell your ex what to do, right to control some aspects of their lives, right to tell her that she's not supposed to be seeing somebody or that that person is not right for her. So those are controlling patterns. And most of the times they come out of a personal agenda. It means that you see her dating somebody else and you go like, well, I don't like this guy. I don't think you should be dating him, you know? And so what you are doing in this process is you are trying to control, you are trying to influence. And in the process of doing that, most of the times, you betray her right for self-determination. And so if this pattern is light, you know, a little bit casual like that, if it's not a big deal. But very often what would happen is that you are trying to control something that is no longer yours, that is no longer central in your field. And so in the process of doing that, you are draining your energy and you are creating a contraction between the two of you because what she wants most probably is to be free. She wants to be free from the entanglement and from the connection of the coupling that was there before. And so you are obstructing her flow. In the process of obstructing her flow, there is going to be a response. And this response can be vindictive. You know, if you, if you are entering into controlling patterns every time you see her, what is going to happen? She's going to step back. She's going to protect herself. She's going to be like, uh-uh, I don't want you in my field. You're too toxic. So that's one aspect, right? Control. Another aspect is feeling like you are responsible for her, that somehow you have to take care of her. And the truth is that you can do that a little bit. You can do that if you want a little bit. But most of the times, the, the time and energy that you are going to invest in her is going to stop you from building new relationships with somebody else. So imagine that you meet a new woman, right? This new woman comes into your life and then she sees all these dynamics still going on with your ex. She will say, well, you look like a nice guy. I would love to date you. You know, this new woman coming into your field, she's like, I find you attractive. I think we have a good connection, get good chemistry, but there's still too much stuff going on there with your ex. It's not interesting to me. You're still completely emotionally in, engaged and entangled in that connection. And you, in the center, you go like, wow, that's, that's true, actually. I'm not emotionally free. I'm not available for this new relationship. 
this is the woman in who I should be investing my time and energy now. So you have to consciously take back all this investment that you gave to that person, take it back to yourself and bring it back. Give it back to somebody who is going to become your primary partner. So this has to, do, to be something that you do consciously. Uh, if you don't, what happens is that you stay in this zone where somehow a lot of your energy is still polarized on her. You know, she's calling you for help when her car breaks down or something in the house is not working or something that has to do with the children or something like that. So you feel responsible to be there for her. But the thing is that you're no longer coupling, you're no longer lovers, you're, you're no longer partners. So why invest your time and energy into her? It doesn't make sense. You do it as a, as a habit because it's something that you have been doing for years or, or months for the time that you have been dating. And then it feels like it's the most natural thing to do. But the thing is that once you uncouple, it's no longer your responsibility. She's a friend. She becomes a friend, an ex, an ex-lover, an ex-partner. But she's no longer entitled to all the care and all the love that you used to give her. All that comes back to you and then you invest that coupling vehicle in other directions. So creating consciously this emotional freedom and consciously uncoupling, consciously dissolving these bonds that you have with her is one of the essential aspects of getting your life back after a breakup or a divorce. I'll see you soon.